Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, myself Dr. Rekha, Assistant Professor of Commerce. In this video, I am going to share about important MCQ questions from research methodology. Before that, if you are new to my channel, do subscribe and click bell button so that you get notification of my upcoming videos. Research methodology is an important subject for master degree, MPhil and PhD as it helps us to pursue an in-depth or deep original study about any topic which we are interested in. So for all the majors, research methodology is a common subject. So in this video, I am going to share the important questions which is repeatedly asking for all the entrance exams. Let's begin with the first question. First question is, what is the first step of research? Here I am not reading the options, I just say the answer. The first step of research is identifying a problem. Next, what is research? So the answer is option A. Research is working in a scientific way to search for truth of any problem. Next one is, which one is called non-probability sampling? So here you have to know about the types of sampling method. There are two types of sampling method. One is probability and another one is non-probability. Under probability method, there are four types. That is simple random sampling, stratified random sampling, cluster sampling and systematic random sampling. Well, under non-probability method, there are five types. That is convenient sampling, purposive or judgment sampling, quarter sampling, accidental sampling and snowball sampling. So here the answer is option A, quarter sampling. Next is what are the core elements of a dissertation or for a thesis? Answer is option D. The stages are first one is introduction, then literature review, next research methodology, then results and the last one is discussion and conclusion. Next is what is F test? It's a statistical tool which has F distribution under null hypothesis. So the answer is it can be one tilt as well as two tilt depending on the hypothesis. So the option is C. Then you have to also remember that F test, Z test and ANOVA is introduced by Fisher. The main purpose of research in education is to help the candidate become an eminent educationist. Next one is tippet table refers to answer is option D all the above. So tippet table it refers to the table of random digits which is used in sampling methods and also statistical investigation. This table was first published by Hel H. C. Tippet in the year 1927. Next question is related to type 1 error occurs if answer is option A. The null hypothesis is rejected even though it is true. So we have to know about type 1 error and type 2 error. So type 1 error is possibility when null hypothesis is true that is rejecting a true null hypothesis. Whereas type 2 error is possibility of accepting a false null hypothesis. Next question is dash is preferred sampling method for population with finite size. So the answer is option A systematic sampling because random selection is done in systematic sampling only. It's better to know about the other options. Purposive sampling it is used to select few persons who respond and well cluster sampling if population is larger research go for cluster sampling and uh, area sampling designs where primary sampling unit represents a cluster of unit based on geographical area next is the data of research is answer is option c that is it's both qualitative and quantitative qualitative it deals with the descriptive data and quantitative deals with the numbers so the data of research is both qualitative and quantitative next question is survey research studies Answer is option C, population. That is, questionnaire and interviews are the types of surveys. Next, evaluation research is concerned with. Answer is option C, how well are we doing? That is, evaluation research, it makes sure whether the objectives are met or not. Next question is, which of the following is not the characteristics of a research? The 
answer is option C. Research is not a process. Next one is books and records are the primary sources of data in answer is option B. Historical research. Next, the depth of any research can be judged by answer is option C. Objectives of research. Next, which of the following is not the method of research? Answer is option C. Observation. Next is research can be classified as answer is option D all the above so research can be classified into basic applied action quantitative qualitative philosophical historical survey and experimental research so you have to know each types of research in detail next to test null hypothesis a researcher uses answer is option C ANOVA full form of ANOVA is Analysis of variance, it is used to study equality or non-equality of means of particular population. Next is bibliography given in the research report is answer is option C. It helps those interested in further research. Next is fundamental research reflects the ability to expound new principles. So this is introduced by Jane Paget. And he gives the theory of cognitive development of human on the basis of fundamental research. Well, fundamental research is also known as basic research. Next is a ratio represents the relation between answer is option D all the above. So ratio represents part and part, part and whole, whole and whole. Next, the experimental study is based on answer is option D, the manipulation of variables. Next question is the main characteristics of scientific research is answer is option D all the above. So it's empirical, theoretical and experimental. Next field work based research is classified as answer is option B empirical. Next action research is a research carried out to solve immediate problem. So answer is option C. Action research is introduced by Kurt Levin in order to solve immediate problems. So the format is plan, act, observe, reflect. Next, we use factorial analysis to know the difference between two variables. So the answer is option B. Next is what is null hypothesis? So we have to know about hypothesis. There are two types of hypothesis. One is null hypothesis. Another one is alternative hypothesis. In null hypothesis, there is no difference between variables. Whereas in alternative hypothesis, there is difference between variables. So here the answer is option D. A null hypothesis is when there is no difference between the variables. Next. A research paper is a brief report of research work based on answer is option C that is it's, it's uh, both a primary and secondary data next question is research is conducted to answer is option A it is conducted to generate new knowledge and the next question is a hypothesis is a supposition next workshops are meant for answer is option D hands-on training and experience next which one of the following is a research tool questionnaire is a research tool answer is option d next the research that aims at immediate application is answer is option a action research next question is when two or more successive footnotes refer to the same work which one of the following expression is used so we have to use ibit the answer is option d ibit Let's know about the other options. It all it is used to refer number of people. Well, opposite it is used to refer the reference listed earliest by same authors. Then logsit it is used to, to the footnote or the end notes which terms is used to repeat the title and the page number for a given work. Next question is conference are meant for answer is option D all the above group discussion multiple target groups and showcasing new research next is exposed factor research means the research is carried out after the incidents so the answer is option a it's also known as exposed factor research is study anything after it has occurred or occurring so it's used in the social science and business organization next 
which one of the following is an indication of quality of research journal answer is impact factor option d next good research ethics means answer is option a assigning a particular research problem to one phd or research students only next a research paper is answer is option d contains peer reviewed original research or evaluation of research conducted by others next which one of the following is not a non parametric test so you have to know about parametric and non parametric test parametric test is used as when population is known that is anything which is regarding population we consider it as parametric test like t test z test f test non parametric test is used as population is not known so it's study of population on the basis of ranked order like man whitney test then rank sum test crucial valis test high square test then run test next is identify the correct sequence of research step answer is option d selection of topic review of literature data collection and interpretation of findings next is in sampling the lottery method is used for randomization answer is option b next is which is the main objective of research answer is option d to discover new facts or to make fresh interpretation of known facts next is related to sampling errors sampling error decreases with the increase in sampling size answer is option b increase in sample size next a thesis statement is an assertion answer is option c an assertion next a good thesis writing should involve answer is option d all the above so it should involve careful checking of references a clear and well written abstract and consistency in the way the thesis is written if you have any more doubts you can drop in the comment box thanks for watching